The triple bill that includes Lacey Feed, the Firebird and the New Marriott is the celebration of Diaghilev's first Paris season in 1909. And so this is a way of celebrating a great man who really we owe so much to because without the Ballet Russe and, and uh, Mr. Diaghilev, um, I don't suppose we'd be here now. The story of the firebird is a very long one and a, and a very complex one. It's a very, very old ballet, uh, but uh, technically very challenging uh, to dance. The firebird is a particularly demanding role. It requires a lot of stamina. As we see in Swan Lake, the swans have very soft arm and on the side, but the firebird is all very sharp. So it's all about twitching and be a bird. So it's quite incredible and challenging. With playing a bird, as you're dancing and jumping, you're flapping your arms at the same time. So it's quite demanding. The other challenge is to become a creature on stage, but a beautiful creature. It's a great story, a great score, a fabulous design. It's just because it's an old story, it's an old fashioned ballet, and that's what I think makes it so magic. We were taught it by the ballet master and one of the leading dancers from the original Diaghilev Ballet, people who danced in the ballet when Fokine created it. And so the link has gone through now for nearly a hundred years. Lacel feed starts, Firebird finishes, and the filling in the sandwich is a complete surprise. If you look at the sets for those two pieces and you know that your ballet is going to go next to those, then I try and come up with something interesting with the designer. Very different, so the audience has three different things to look at. Lacel Feed is choreographed by the same choreographer, Mikhail Fokin, as uh, the Firebird. It's a ballet of atmosphere that really isn't a story. We're supposed to be sylphs that come to inspire a poet. There is a leading man. He has a dream. He's reliving, perhaps, his past loves, his past encounters. One is a waltz, another one is a mazurka. So we obviously inspiring him in different ways. I don't really know that there's a story. I think you can ma almost make it up. It definitely has an amazing romantic atmosphere and a beauty and a quietness that it is just magic. I'm going to be dancing with uh, David, who is a very Russian, romantic, poetic-looking man. <laughs> so that's going to make it even easier. <laughs> so I think it's going to be beautiful.